Well, we want to finish off Coco with the bang today. The Drink Red Wear Red event is happening this Thursday at the Denver Museum of Nature and Science, and it's a great way to help out the restaurants we love so much. Here from the Colorado Restaurant Foundation, we have Denise Mickelson and Chef Erasmo Cassiano from Lucina Eatery and Bar. Welcome, you two. It's good to have you. Thank My you goodness, us. Chef, you are one talented chef. I've been watching you work throughout the hour. Okay, Denise, I'll start with you. What is Drink Red, Wear Red, and what can people expect on Thursday? It is such a fun party. It is a fundraiser to benefit Colorado restaurant workers mm -hmm. through our foundation. Um, it's going to be at the Denver Museum of Nature and Science. It kicks off at 7 o'clock. We're going to have more than 20 restaurants, endless wine and beer and non-alcoholic drinks. So f something for absolutely everybody. And everybody wears red. I love it. A room full of red. I wore red in support of this great event today, too. Now, how, what would you say the local restaurant industry is doing post-pandemic? I'm so happy that it's coming back. Yeah, I mean, we the industry has been through a lot in the last yes. three years. Everybody knows that. And even mm. now, restaurant workers need assistance sometimes, right? Oh, the restaurant closes down because of a flood or their car is stolen. There's so many reasons why our Colorado restaurant workers might need some help. And our foundation provides grants. Um, we do workforce training. We really help the Colorado restaurant workers any way we can. And coming to this party, you do your part. That's one way to keep it all going. Now, Chef, everything smells wonderful. Tell us what you brought today and what you're making. Thank you. Yeah, today we're going to be doing a remolacha and mahi ceviche. Oh, my so, goodness. Okay. By the way, on the outfit, I'm glad I didn't wear this one. <laughs> okay. I, I had it picked out, but I decided to wear it. <laughs> Did you? Oh, my good. Well, it's yeah. it's here for you whenever you're ready to wear awesome. it, Chef. Okay. <laughs> well, to get started, um, so the, I wanted to be on theme with the red, obviously. Uh -huh. uh, so we're using red beets. We're using a nice mahi, which is a good sustainable fish. Oh, my goodness. Um, and you can smell all of this. But the yes. fun like the fun thing of the ceviche is going to be the plantains that we make into either chips or the cups that we did here by frying them. And then we press them in this really cool uh, mold here. So oh, essentially I've you never press seen the mold yeah, like that. Cool. Okay. So these are from my, uh, you know, Latin Caribbean brothers and sisters that figured out that really cool <laughs> trick. So, I love that. Yeah, okay. um, I'm going to need a little bit of help with this. Is this okay? Let's go. Have you okay. used a mol molcajete before? Have I used a molcajete just, before? Of asking. course I have. Yeah, don't <laughs> get that, okay? Yes. So we're going to start with our aromatics. With, it's going to be a little oh bit of garlic my goodness. and some salt. All right. So mm. here we're just going to crush up like this mm -hmm. and then just grind that as best okay. as possible. Oh my God, Chef, my mom would love you. It smells so good. She already awesome. uses a garlic at the back home. Yeah? Yes, nice. to make guacamole and salsa. Love that. Oh. Nice. So yeah, we're gonna be doing a little bit of that. We're gonna crush up a little bit of fresh beet that I already have diced up here. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's gonna give us a little bit of color. Okay. Awesome. Now, what am I making? Now, right now, we're going to be making the acidic and like uh, salty part of this dish. Okay. That's what's going to cook our raw fish, okay? Okay. Now, usually in Mexico, um, you're going to find that they leave the ceviche to sit a little bit longer. Yes. Um, but we're going to do the Peruvian technique here where they just toss it and uh, let it sit for about two to three minutes, and then we're going to serve it up really nicely. So, okay. there you go. So, we got a nice little ground paste oh, here. Oh, that's how you do it. <laughs> you are doing to, great. You got to, you know, <laughs> you got to really reach out to your to your ancestors on this one, okay? <laughs> okay. Now we're going to be doing a little bit of beet juice here. Ooh, okay? Oh, wow. Which is a beautiful hue. Yes. Some fresh lime juice. Love the lime. Okay. You got to have yeah. the lime. The ceviche, for sure. Of course. And this is the part of the acidic part that's going to cook the fish. Mm -hmm. Love lime in anything. Mm -hmm. Now, Chef, while, you get, while you're doing this, I want to ask um, about the event. Is there a specific dress code besides the red? Right. I mean, that's it. Every Everybody hue, wears red. Every hue of red is acceptable. We okay. are in Colorado, so you will see people in red, you know, shorts and shirts, but also people will be really dressed up. There will be some gowns. It is yeah. a come as you are. Please wear something red. Anything will do. Um, and it really is just a way to kind of bring a fun element to the event. We're going to have lots of red wines, but also white. Like I said, every kind of, you know, drink you can imagine mm -hmm. from our partners at Republic National Distributing Company. Um, and so much food, so much drink, oh DJs, a silent auction, and also voting for best restaurant of the event. So oh, Lucina wow. will be there. 
Okay. We have amazing restaurants, Tavernetta, Wild Taco, um, Sushi Rama, just as everything you can imagine. Well, it's going to be, gonna be it's going to be tough to beat Chef at Osmo here. I know. I mean, I know. he knows his it's stuff. A personal favorite. I literally <laughs> just found out that this was a, a competition, and I don't know if that was. Oh, the really? Oh, oh my so gosh. <laughs> he has till Thursday to get ready, but look yes. at this beautiful dish. Look at the spread. This, this will be there. That people will be able to taste. So, absolutely. Um, at Lucina or at the event? Uh, okay. Right now, we have uh, a different variation. Uh, we actually have an aguachile on the menu yeah. at, uh, with the salsa negro, which is very, very popular. But as okay. you can see here, this uh, this one might be more of a summertime dish. Okay. You can see that it's starting to cure already. The fish is changing colors. I added a little bit of habanero Love because it. that spice is the spice of life. Okay, okay. chef. Hang on just a sec. Right. I got to give the everybody party. some info yes. on how to make it to this event. Check out right. Drink Red, Wear Red this coming Thursday. It's at the Denver Museum of Nature and Science. Tickets are going fast, so head to corestaurants.org to scoop up your tickets before Thursday.